Hey, how's it going ladies and gentlemen? I thought I'd just pop up on camera just because of my uh, recent post. I did get into a bit of an incident at work. It was a near miss, but luckily enough, a near miss is good enough for me. I am alive and well. So I've tried to make the camera as color accurate as possible. I'm not still ghostly white or anything like that. We're all good. Colors back. I'm all, uh, I'm pretty much, pretty much back to it. Unfortunately, I've felt a little bit ill from the side effects of it all over the last couple of days. So I was working on getting a carving video out for tonight and it was this little stone here. I'll give a little sneak peek. So a viewer sent that in, he got stuck at a point, which is fair enough, and yeah, we'll help him work through it. So I did a unboxing, and we're halfway through the carving, we'll polish it up, and I want to do the whole process in one video. So that one was meant to go up, but I stopped working on it for the last couple days, a little bit on and off. So instead today, I'm just going to go through an unboxing, which I was planning on doing next week. But we'll just jump to it today because at least that's a nice quick easy one that I can get done and who knows it could be pretty interesting. Barbara sent over a massive massive box from the US so we'll jump across to that now. I just wanted to pop up on camera just to prove that I am in fact fully healthy. Definitely definitely healthy. Nothing nothing to see here so I will get off the camera and let's unbox this thing. Well that was surprisingly difficult to slice open but I've got it sliced and I haven't opened it yet so we'll just crank it open and see how we go. If Barbara's watching, this only took, surprisingly, under three weeks to get here from the US. So let's give it a pry open. I don't actually know what was meant to be sent. I might have gotten a message about it and forgotten about it, but... This looks like it's probably from a gem show. So thank you for supporting African businesses. Well, if it's African businesses, this can only mean one thing. We've got some Ethiopian opal in here. Maybe? Maybe not. Oh no, some of that's definitely Ethiopian, but it seems like it's a bit varied as well. Oh no, Ethiopian. Ethiopian opal, and really nice looking stuff. And I've been getting really into Ethiopian opal lately. And this is great. This means, uh, good old Mike was my only... The only decent Ethiopian I've ever got is from Mike, who hunts it down at gem shows but this looks quite different and I am excited to work on this as well it's a stone that's really growing on me I was a hater a few years ago but I think that's because there was a bit of a misinformation on my on my part I was getting fed some information from some dodgy sources well not dodgy just people that didn't really like Ethiopian opal which is fair enough we've got some green kind of stone here it looks like it would be an interesting backing for a doublet but I think I think it's uh, just a nice slab of something I don't know about though it could be it could be opal like that swamp opal that I cut so there's a couple pieces of that which will be fun to work with but I'll probably have to talk to Barbara about that or if anyone else knows just chuck that in the comments it's a nice little green stone though could be opal there are green opals out there so let's see there's actually a, there's a lot in this box. There is a lot in this box. Once again, that looks like it was the same label as the one that was on here. So I don't know I don't know what the symbol is or what this company is in particular, but I'm happy to find out if anyone knows. Here we go. So we have a huge Mexican Mexican opal. Actually, not Mexican. What am I saying? Huge Ethiopian chocolate opal. So this comes from another region. Shewa, I believe. I don't know how it's pronounced. I'll have to look into it. Like I said, I don't know Ethiopian very well. But this stuff... And because all of this is dry, I've got huge confidence that I'm going to be able to do something with it. I feel no oil. I feel no water. We are flying. So I've got a bag of that. I've got... Whoop, whatever that was. It's been crushed. That one's been crushed to crushed to dust. I don't want to just get them all out of the bags and forget which bags they came out of because it will be an easy way to work out which one's which later on. It's really, it's such a dark body tone. Unfortunately, if, if it was more of a black body tone instead of this brown, which kind of muddies up the colours a bit, if it was a black and it made it pop, this stuff would be huge. Oh, and then there's some... Oh, this is cool. I've never seen this. So this is with the chocolate opal. But it shows that in the same mine, because this is the one piece, and I'm sure it hasn't been 
are glued together in a composite, you can see that there's that classic crystal that I'm used to seeing as well. I actually didn't know that both both grew in the one opal field. I thought there was one that was just this stuff and then one that was just this stuff. So that's actually a really cool specimen piece that I probably won't mess with because I've never seen that before. Or I'll just chip off that corner just so that I know that's what it's like. I'm surprised every day by opal. And Ethiopian opal is the easiest one to surprise me with because I know so little about it. That one's almost like a matrix. Yeah, that's basically like a matrix style. So it feels like a really loose powdery sandstone. I might treat that one. Really light dusty material. Well, this bag is uh, my favorite so far. It's got, I've pulled out three stones and none of them are alike. Another big dark chocolatey boy. And then there's a couple small bags in there. I'm just gonna have to remember which bag this one came out of. A couple smaller bags. This one hasn't been crushed by the other big boys. Oh, what is that? Wow. So if this all came from the one place, this one's hard to get to show up on camera all that well. I don't want to chuck any water on it either, but this is like a white opal, white precious opal. How weird. Let's zoom in. So look at that. A precious white, like really white opal. Chalk white. Wow, all right, this is um, this is very surprising. So I've got chocolate, I've got crystal, I've got white, all in the one bag, and looking like it's all from the same place. Another piece that looks a bit like that matrix, but that's more of a, that's more of a painted lady. All right, I've really got to learn Ethiopian opal. Because it seems much more varied than I thought. And then a nice little small chunk of almost black-like material. Let me get that out of the bag. That's a bit darker than the other chocolates. Oh, okay, so it's still got that brown body tone, but it is a bit darker and makes the colours pop a little bit more as well. I have no idea how to work on some of this stuff, so I'll be talking to Barbara and I'll be talking to Mike. Both of those two know more about it than I. Here's another big chunk of, I mean, this is more like a black body tone, but it doesn't look like it's been treated and it's got a little bit of that matrixy bit, then it's got a little bit of the chocolate bit. Yeah, this is, uh, this is wild stuff. I didn't even know some of this stuff could come out like this. And it just keeps on going. There's so much in here. Another chocolate opal. Without a doubt, I'll be working a lot more opal like this on the channel. This is that matrixy kind of stuff again. Like an Ethiopian matrix opal. Didn't know it was a thing. Oh, this is cool. This is like a, a little nut with a pellet of opal in the middle of it. This is cool because I like to see, this gives me a good idea of what it looks like. And that actually, I don't know. Yeah, the camera is picking it up. Look at that. Oh, it's cool. It's like a little geode and you crack it open and there's a little, little chocolate opal inside. But this has got like a matrix effect. Matrix opal effect on the outer edge of it. All right. My mind is being blown. Best unboxing I've ever done. What is this? So this is in with that big one. So I'm guessing it's a smaller version of it. That's definitely like a matrix opal just there. I'll zoom in. That's certainly very matrix-like. I wonder if that will treat similar to an Andamooka matrix or a fairy opal. And yeah, it just looks like a little, a little bowl, little clump of dirt, crack it open. This one's got like a matrix opal filling. Seems like there's a lot more flavors of Ethiopian opal than I was um, aware of, which doesn't surprise me. Opal is always incredibly varied. It's why I like it so much. But this is, yeah, this is quite wild. And then here we've got, uh, this is an opal. 
I feel like I've seen something like this before in the old fire agate. This might be fire agate coming back again. I do need to work more of it. But this one's just got a cool little bubbly effect. That's what's telling me that it's not an opal. Set him aside as well. Let's have a look at what's in here. Another one, I think. That looks much more agate-like than opal. Oh, Mr. Green Chunk. I might turn that one into a dice. It's already almost a cube. Here we've got a nice little chocolate opal again. This one's got a bit more of a pattern and different formation to it. It could be like a fossilized tree or something. I'll have to look into that. See if they've, see if they've got fossil opal in these mines. Another geode with a chocolate court. Almost looks like an egg. Another one here. Beautiful. So it splits open and it's like a yawa nut, but in Ethiopia. Chocolate nut. And then we've got another one. So I've got heaps to work with. I'm going to have to try to pick the lower quality ones, even though I don't know what I'm doing, and just play with them before I work on some of the higher quality ones. So I'll just have to have a look at the ones that I think look the best and which ones look the worst, and then try to judge myself how to, how to grade them. But then again, I've got all you guys, so... By all means, let me know how you would grade them and I'll, I'll run with that because I know a lot of you watch this channel and have a lot more knowledge on this stuff than me. That's half the joy of the YouTube channel. I'm just the person on the camera, but I'm not just the only brain. So if you guys know anything, I would love to learn it from you. So let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's the last, that's the last stone. This box was huge and it was absolutely packed. Packed with Ethiopian opals. Some of which I've never seen or didn't even know really existed in the way that these these have come up. Especially that one that had three different types of opal in one. That kind of stuff is absolutely wild to me. And it's really nice to see what it looks like underground. So literally they're coming across things like this. Split it open and see what's inside. Much like a yawa nut. So cool, and hopefully some of it's stable enough for me to cut and play with. But we'll see that in future videos for sure. For now, I'm going to wrap this one up and, yeah, have a deeper dive into these. Just search online and talk to some of you guys that know it. This is my favourite one out of the lot. It's got that crystal with the uh, chocolate, and I did not know that was even possible. I thought that was two different things completely, so incredible to see in one piece. Let you guys have one good look at that. Definitely, that's how it came out of the ground. Yeah, incredible. Okay, I'm learning more every day. Very good. I'm glad I dodged dodged a bit of a bullet at work and got to see this because that's that's quite quite amazing. And you guys will see much more of this stuff when I cut it on the channel in the near future. For now, I'll say goodbye and yeah, hopefully that kind of opens other people's eyes up to some of the possibilities in Ethiopian Opal. I, for one, am very surprised and very excited to dive into some of it, but I need to learn a bit more first, so I'll talk to my gurus, and I will see you in the next one when I'm cutting something else.